everyone. Well, today I'm going to um, be doing a canvas. Keys and co it's going to be called Cogs and Keys. And I, I love keys. Um, a very lovely lady in America, Beth, sent me loads of keys. So I'm going to be doing a key canvas. Key, cogs and keys. It's, so um, it's just going to be um, an 8 by 8 canvas and um, um, shall we uh, go and have a play? Okay, so there's my canvas. I've got this mask which has got cogs and clocks and whatever on. And I'm not, so I'm going to cover cover it with I'm going to use deco opt media but first what I want to do is in areas I'm going to add a bit of crackle the crackle paint in just certain areas and then I'm going to use the black modeling paste and um, and um, over the stencil and then I've got I got this key um, I think it was a couple of years ago in America Joanne's I think it, it was it Michael's could have been Michael's and I'm going to have that and then I'm going to build up with my keys and um, just build up around it and I'm going to add some stones as well some of my art stones and uh, fill in little patches here and there yes I'm recording and that so anyway and I've got this lovely key which Deb's um, sent me and I'm, I want to hopefully sit that on top of there but we'll see so that's me that's me idea anyway but we'll see all these little cars mum and dad gave me a load of keys and and that so first thing I want to do is add a bit of this and I'm going to put it on with my with my palette knife and I'm just going to scrape it down I'm not covering the whole of the canvas because I don't want the whole of the canvas I've got a little bit there I'm just putting a little bit here and there Got little bits in it. Must be off the off the lid. Never mind. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. We'll see how that looks. So I'm going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun. that dried and then I'm going to add the the modeling paste right okay cookie okay. I've not used black modeling paste before so this should be fun so I want to put my stencil on or mask, however the case may be. And let's make a start.
so there we are that's that done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that just to one side while I clean up my clean up my mess well it's not one more put it back in the pot Okay, so the canvas is now dry and now we're just going to start and build up so as I said I want this as key this key as the main focal image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my heavy gloss um, gel medium to glue as Act as a glue on my and I might use others as well I might use my uh, pin flare my glue gel because I know this dries clear so and I want to just add some inside there I'm going to sprinkle some of my art stones inside.
There we go. I know more will come off as it dries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down for a nice cup of coffee and let this dry. I've got my window open and it's quite warm so hopefully it shouldn't take too long to dry. And then I'm going to give it two coats of black gesso and I'm going to be using PBO's black gesso which is my favourite black gesso. And um, then over the top, once the black gesso is dried, I'm going to dry brush some uh, metallic lustre deco art turquoise and I think that will show up really really nice so I'll put them on there so I'm, I'm quite, oops so I'm quite pleased with how that's turning out I'll lift it bring it up to show you so I didn't want to completely obliterate but I just wanted this here and I think it looked look quite nice when it's all painted black and then just highlights of the turquoise and the cogs I've recycled from an, an old project so I'm doing a bit of upcycling recycling as well and I'm not sure whether to add a cog in between them because I think they look a bit sparse so let's see what I've got here. Let's see what I've got. Oh yes. So I could put one there. In the junction. Let's see if I can find another one. Yeah. And I'll have that one there. Like that. Yeah, I think that's better. It doesn't look too, just looks a bit too flat with the keys where they are. Oops, got stone there. There we go. I think that's a bit better. It's not so flat there. So there we go. I'll just lift it off. like that. Right, don't sit here gazing at it. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry and I'll come back and after I've had my coffee. I'll see you in two. Okay, so it's all nice and dry now and uh, I'm going to um, paint it and this is PBO that I had left over and I just put it in a jar because I didn't want to lose it. So I'm going to use, make a start and call, paint this now. So let's make a start. And this, at this point I am going to fast forward because I don't think you need to sit and watch me paint, paint this uh, this black so once I've done its first coat I'll slow it down and then um, I'll, I'll be back come back to you
we are. That's all nice and dry. And the uh, last thing to do now is add some of this wax. So let's have a look how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some on my brush. And I'm going to my brush. Just pick up. You see. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to fast forward until the end, and then um, it. I can I think I can call this complete. Then. So enjoy the music.
liking that. But I think I'm going to add another accent colour. And I'm going to add, if I can, I might add some of this antique gold to it. Just a little bit here and there. And this is PBO Gilding Wax. So it's kind of two tone. I can mainly stick to the keys. And the balls. I'm not going to cover them all. Just the turquoise will still come through. I just thought so just a bit of a uh, contrast colour. The turquoise is still coming through which is it which is good. That's into the uh, balls here. I think I've got all the keys. Yeah. There we are. I think that looks better now. It's two toned. Not just, and I'm just going to add a bit here and there. Not everywhere. Obviously, I still want the the turquoise to show through. What I might do is I might just go around the edges, just add it round the edges. safely say that this project is complete and I'm absolutely made up with it. So that is my cogs and keys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.